Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This game is Fire Shark. This was recommended to me by a good friend, H. Um, he has previously told me about this game before, but I have never tried it. So this is going to be interesting. Looks like a top-down vertical shooter. And to be honest, I love these. So let's have a little look, shall we? Looks like A, B, and C don't do nothing. Oh, it's... Default shoe is easy. Okay, let's let's give ourselves some more lives and we will have rapid fire because hello <laughs> Rapid fire for the life man. Yeah, rapid fire is absolutely required most of the time in these games. Uh, I can actually um, Force rapid fire on the 8-bit dough m30. So but you know if the game's gonna let you do it Why the devil not? Let's jump into this. So it looks like we're in some kind of like red baron style uh, biplane, which is cool. Alright, I'm liking the music. <laughs> what? That's cool. I like that. Yeah, this seems fairly standard so far. I like the graphics. The graphics are nice. Looks like some kind of pseudo World War One era stuff. I tell you what, it's very smooth. The game runs very smooth. There's a nice amount going on on the screen as well. Doesn't seem overly challenging so far, but... That's to be expected, I guess, with this difficulty. So S gives us more weapon power, by the look of things. All right, not bad. Now, the rapid fire does seem to be working well. Oh, P also gives us more weapon power, I guess. Interesting. Not sure if our weapons are actually getting more powerful or if that's just the explosives. No idea. We will try some uh, harder difficulties to see what changes. If anything, usually these games get a little bit savage. Oh, that's a different weapon. Oh, no. I do like my spread shots. They just seem to give you score. The lightning bolts. Interesting. A hand from Thor himself. Zeus. We have the power of Zeus, which uh, does appear to be helping us. Oh, God. I'm guessing one hit and we're out. Oh, I see. We've got bombs down at the bottom there. And we have the amount of lives. Um, oh, shit. The amount of lives are indicated down there by how many planes we have, which is quite nice. Looks like um, this game has checkpoints. And they're the bombs. Oof, that's juicy. This is interesting. I do like the spread shot. I'm definitely a fan of that. Especially in these games where we've got so much shit coming at you from the, from the screen. One hit KO is always fairly savage, but that's more of the rule rather than the exception for these games. Very few of these titles, in my experience, do you ever get a second chance. Ooh, we're going to nuke those guys. Ooh, look at that. Weapon power up. That's better. Almost fill the screen. Not sure what P is doing. Ha ha ha, P. It doesn't seem to do a huge amount. I thought it was indicating weapon power, but I guess maybe not. Almost caught that between the butt cheeks. Leveling up P again. Like the uh, enemy design, it's fairly standard, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, it kind of looks like what you'd expect from one of these games. It's not quite... Ah, uh, why did I pick that up? It's not quite bullet hell. But then we are only on the first stage. These games do notoriously ramp up. Oh my god, look at that. The Dreamcast was an amazing console for these games. It really was. Yeah, more lightning bolts. I don't know if they're just points. Oh god. Oof. Hold on to your ass cheeks, guys. This is going to get rough. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. We're out. We're out. We are out. Where's it going to put us? Okay, it more or less puts you straight back. does look like we lose our weapon power when we die, which, again, is fairly standard for these kind of games. That's fine. I think I could probably get into this. And you know what? If I had played this uh, as a kid on my actual Mega Drive, I would have loved this. I would have absolutely loved this. When I was um, a kid, actually, I did 
get an interesting looking um, top down shooter, similar vein to this, from a local mom and pop kind of uh, video game store. And it was an import cartridge, so I couldn't play it on my Mega Drive. And man, I was like the most ungrateful, screamy, cry kid when I came home and found out that it wouldn't run on my Mega Drive. I was so like, well, let's just say I literally was crying and stamping and screaming and shouting. Looking back now, my god, my poor parents, man. Um, I think we did actually take the game back and get our money back. Or my mum's money back, I should say. Because you have to remember as well, back in the day, man, like, it's not like now where we're all adults and if we want a game, uh, we can generally afford them. I'm not saying games are cheap because they're not, but games are a lot easier to come by than, than when we were uh, children, especially growing, uh, growing up during the Bit Wars. So getting a new game was a really cool and exciting thing. You little son of a bitch. So to come home and be really excited after looking at the, the box art and everything, to find out that you can't play it. Oh, we get continues. Oh. And it continue, uh, you continue from the checkpoint. That's interesting. Um, yeah, so, so to be really hyped up and excited for a new game and finding that it doesn't work, that really sucked, man. Because gaming to me, much like now, but... You know, I, I'm an adult now and I can appreciate, you know, there's more to life than video games. Not much more, but there is more to life. Um, gaming is all we had when we were kids, you know? I mean, we did spend an awful lot of time outside as well. But not as much as we probably should. This guy is kind of being a bit of a dick at the moment. Oh no, missed the gift from Zeus back there. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. I mean, I do, we died, but I don't know how. That was weird. Okay, let's let's take the other route, shall we? Let's see if that's a little bit easier to get through. Now these games are also <laughs> much harder to actually play and commentate over as well. I like the music. It's got that kind of thrashy Mega Drive vibe to it. You know, a lot of people don't like the uh, the Mega Drive or Genesis's sound chip. I do. I think it's fantastic. Uh, a lot of people say the Super Nintendo sounded better, and I I don't know if it sounded better. It sounded different, for sure. There were some wicked, uh, a lot of wicked music on both systems, for sure. Uh, yeah, one problem I'm finding with these bombs is when they go off, you can't actually see shots coming at you, which is problematic. Slightly problematic, you know. But it is colourful in its own way. I mean, there's a lot of brown here, but there's some nice contrast in green as well. And uh, I'm, I'm liking the grey buildings. Reminds me of an Amiga game that me and my friends used to play, actually. Uh, we used to play a game called Lancaster. And that was like a weird first-person shooter. Oh, that's the weapon power-up. Weapon power-up seems to be random. So yeah, anyway, Lancaster. We played the hell out of that on the Amiga. Uh, I think we... No, it was the full game. I was going to say, I think we only had the demo. But no, it was the full game. And you were a forward gunner in a Lancaster bomber. And you had to get to the end of the level where you then had to bomb your targets. And that game looked absolutely insane for the time. 3D polygonal like enemies and, and everything. Very oh shit. Very Star Fox esque. And uh, yeah, the buildings when you were bombing them at the end. Kind of give me uh, uh, well, the buildings in this are very reminiscent of that. I think this looks a little bit cleaner. Definitely looks a little bit cleaner. But then this is emulated, so you know. I would like to go back to uh playing a lot of these games in non-emulated form. But my capture card doesn't work, so at the moment we're stuck with emulators. And you know what? Nothing wrong with emulators. Especially for these older systems. I think emulators are a wonderful thing. I really do. Because consoles these days are so... or retro consoles are so... so much work to actually set up and record. Especially like older Mega Drives and things like that. 
Um, you have to get your capture card, and most capture cards are digital only, so you have to get converter boxes and and cables. And this guy's kicking my ass. There's so much crap in setting up a, a, an old console, and then when you start recording it, it just looks like shit as well, like actual feces smeared on the screen. And that's true for PlayStation 1 and, and, and games, uh, systems like that as well. So emulators are absolutely wonderful for recording. And then you don't have to worry about hardware failures and stuff like that. I mean, yes, you have to worry about system instabilities and crashing, but uh, a lot of these older emulators are just pretty much spot on these days. I mean, this isn't missing a beat. This is wonderful. They even emulate the slowdown of the old machines as well. And let's be fair, you can run these games on a toaster now as well, which is good. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to shut my fucking mouth for a minute and try and concentrate. Oof. Try and thread that needle. Here he comes. Oh, come on. I do not like those guys. I do not like those guys. That pattern is not too savage, but bad enough. There we go. Whew. If you actually concentrate on what you're doing, good things happen. Oh, and you get a cool little landing sequence. Oh, I like. Ah, oh, H, I like this. This is cool. This is really cool. Nice amount of character to it as well. Oh, man. Oof, now we're going into the green. Everything's green, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Yep, it's definitely getting a little bit more chaotic. That's for sure. Give me some more power-ups. I used to love games like this in the arcade as well. You know, proper coin chompers. Um, I was very fortunate growing up. Uh, where I lived on the beach. Not on the beach, obviously. That would have been awkward. But I lived in a, a beach town. Right in the arsehole of nowhere. And we had an arcade that was open every summer. And it was wonderful. We played such amazing games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, we played Gauntlet. My favorite was Operation Wolf. Uh, that was fantastic in the arcades with the actual light gun. Uh, I was utterly addicted to that. What else did we have? We had Street Fighter 2. We had Mortal Kombat. We had quite a few games. There was this racing game as well that I remember. And it was impossible to control. It was so fast. Uh, but I was mesmerized at it. by how, how a game could be so fast. I mean, yeah. Funny now. Oh, look at this. We're taking on the Navy now. I like it. Uh, I mean, the enemies and stuff are fairly generic. Ah, bollocks. Why did I do that? I seize a power up and I've got to have it, yo. I like it. I like the design of the levels. They're nice. Oh, no, we're going down. Oh, that guy puckered my arsehole. But I like the fact it restarts you here. It would have been nice if we started off with uh, some better weapons. But hey, come on now. A checkpoint in a, a game like this is is at least to me very unheard of <laughs> let alone anything else usually you die and you have your three lives and then once your three lives are over that's it but the mega drive is fantastic for these games as well you know oh my god look at this look at this look at this nonsense on the screen right now oh give me the give me the p i died getting the p i'm sure there's a metaphor there somewhere I keep forgetting I've got bombs as well. Should really exercise those a little bit more. Stop running your mouth and run your weapons. Probably a good idea. Okay, so it looks like red peas give us the weapon boost. Okay. But then our weapon resets or our power bar resets, which is interesting. So, can we power this up again? I don't know, Chief. I'm certainly looking forward to finding out. Now, there was a couple of fantastic games on the Dreamcast like this. Um, there was one, Ikigura, I think. Ah, I probably butchered that, but it had a really interesting mechanic with light and dark. No, I do not want your green bullshit. 
No, you do not shoot that green shit at me. Um, yeah, they, they had a really interesting light and dark mechanic in that game, where light enemies could only be hit by your light weapons, and dark enemies could only be hit with, with uh, the corresponding color, and it was interesting. And whilst you were, I think I'm going to get this right, whilst you were white, white attacks couldn't hurt you. And whilst you were black, black attacks couldn't hurt you. It was something like that, and it was really cool. But bollock hard, and I never got very far in it at all. And then there was um, Battle Heart Excelsior, I, I, it was something like that. And I love that game. I don't really like a lot of this weirbo anime stuff, but that game was awesome. Such a pounding soundtrack. And some really cool enemy designs. Oh, what's this? Oh, dude, you done fucked it up, as Mr. Angry Joe would say. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. It's a lot easier to play. I mean, yes, we're playing it on easy, but a lot of these games... <laughs> don't usually have um, um, any kind of difficulty controls. And if they do, it generally doesn't do much. Let's be honest. I'm enjoying these battleships. Okay. You know, I always like thinking about these games. We're literally like rolling over an entire enemy army. Like in this little biplane that's shooting like magic MacGuffin bullshit missiles and stuff. I do like this. You know, gaming has lost this kind of... Uh, there's just this bullshit that's going on. Oh, what's red? Oh, my dudes. Oh, that's savage. We've got, like, Nikolai Telsa on board. Got some bloody, um... Iron Cannon shit going on right here. Oh, what, what's... Ah, what, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Does that actually... Nope. Does that actually power us up? Collecting two of the same weapon icon. I don't know. Oh! Oh man, that looked like um, uh, a lightning. World War II lightning. Oh. Hey, where the hell does it put us now? I think it's actually jumped us ahead a little bit, to be honest. But hey, whatever. Again, this isn't a let's play. This is just a, a let's try. Let's see what this game's like. And it's good. Definitely would have been one happy camper. The levels are quite sprawling as well, and I like the fact they all um, oh, bleed into each other as well, which is quite nice. They're not separate entities. It's like one long scrolling battlefield. We're on stage three. I'm not sure how many stages there are. I wanted to go into this one fresh and blind. Because sometimes that's the best way, you know? Oof. What's S? Give me some S. I like it. I like getting a big lump of S. Oh, God. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Oh, man. This thing is a giant bastard. But that's okay, because we have magic bullshit missiles. So, you know. Oof. Just rolled this guy over. Yeah, there's another game. Sign Mora or something that I played recently on my PlayStation. Which is a side-scrolling shooter kind of like this but it was a modern one and it was fantastic but it was really dark it, it, um, it had like cutesy cartoon animals that were like the main event but it focused on a lot of really dark themes like murder and, and sexual assault and stuff like that it, 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 yeah it was out there but it was good it was really good like it had this massively adult storyline which didn't fit <laughs> it, it was bizarre but I enjoyed that sign Mora um, it's actually a game that I've had in my backlogs for years and years and years and I've only got to it recently because we have no internet or very crap internet but we didn't have any internet for like six seven weeks so yeah I busted that out and really enjoyed it oh no we're going down it did have this weird rewind time mechanic as well, um, but I wasn't sure if I liked that, but it certainly made it a lot more playable. Definitely one to look out for, for shooter fans, but then shooter fans have probably played it already anyway. It's not a new game. 
think it came out in the Xbox 360. But I've played quite a few of these games on uh, Xbox 360 and, and like PlayStation 4 remasters. And they are still good. But they're generally budget titles. And they don't have a lot of the uh, nice little animation details that they kind of went for back then. Like, you know, back back in the 16-bit days, these these were budget, uh, triple A, full budget games. So they had a lot of niceties. And I like the details. I like damaging um, enemy equipment and seeing scorch marks all over the battlefield. You know, if you're going to have a game like this, where you're just fighting entire armies of enemies. I think they should just go nuts with it. They really should. You should be able to bring down buildings, blow mountains up, and just scorch the shit out of the terrain. So it just makes you feel powerful, you know? <laughs> Fucking Red Baron takes flight. Jesus. Nah, this is cool. I'm a fan. I like these little Zeppelins as well. I mean, what the hell? Just got basically told to attack this guy in this plane that's wiping out everything and you're you're piloting this <laughs> this flying bomb basically Oofed. <laughs> there's a lot of hydrogen your your ass is sitting on boy oh yeah i want that definitely want that oh my god this just this is like the flamethrower out of mercs this just rolls everything damn Alright. Ooh. We've got the railroad. You know, there's so many games like this that I played on DOS back in the day as well that were really good. I never had an actual DOS computer, but my friend did. And, um... Some of those games that we played on DOS were so good. The PC was such a powerful platform even back then. Especially when you were just used to the Mega Drive. Oh no. I didn't even see that guy. I did, but I didn't see him here. Bullshit! Ah oh, man. We've lost our Telsa coil. That makes me a very sad man. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. They don't seem to open up when you're in weapons range almost. It's kind of curious. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. P, give me the P, give me the P. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, it's that spicy mofo that keeps coming down on the uh, on the right there that keeps rolling me. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Unstoppable. He says after, like, dying a thousand times. Ooh. Yeah, not sure what these lightning bolts are. I I'm pretty sure they're just, like, health. Not health, uh, points. Which, eh. Points is something that I've never actually been interested in. Not really. Not like that. I like the music when you come into land as well. It's that the victorious. That's a bit weird, that. Boop. It's amazing victory music. Ooh. That's a nice rift. That's a very nice rift. Oh, I might be out of time here soon. Almost on 30 minutes. Might not get a chance to look at the other difficulties after all. Misses is going to be back soon. Yeah. Give me the S. Give me the S. Wonderful. So, I mean, the difficulty doesn't seem to be scaling much, to be honest. The first level was very easy. Um... And then, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking too early. Ooh, we've got P. I like P. P is my friend. I hope that stands for power. Now, how some of these games were a bit weird with it. Ooh, they're cool, like, power. Oh, no, I didn't want that green shit. It's like Independence Day all over again. Ah, God. There we go. Yeah, I never saw Independence Day 2. Yes, please. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. I've heard things, <laughs> should we say. No, I don't want that. Don't want it. It doesn't look like um, the power-ups actually disappear after a while either. 
so not sure what's going on with that. That's kind of annoying, in a way. Very hard to skip a weapon power-up that you don't want, because not only do you have to manage all the bullets on screen and all that bullshit, <laughs> you've got to be careful not to pick up those icons. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, bollocks. Oh, my God. You know, the, the, the level design is quite interesting, actually. The way they throw these different layers at you. I'm enjoying that. They do mix it up quite a bit. And they're using the mechanic of us uh, flying in a harbour kind of area quite well, as well, I think. It is nice. And we're just, like, rolling over all this stuff. Like, this red power, whatever the hell it is, is just unstoppable. Like, absolutely rolls everything over. Like, why would you... Ooh, shit on a shovel. Why would you pick any other weapon after this? APCs are getting fucked. These little blimps. I mean, whoever's flying the little blimp must come into this battle zone, like, with a load in his pants. Knowing that he's fucked. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. This, this is supposed to be the end of level boss. And he's just getting rolled over. Like it's nothing. Swept aside like a dog turd in the street. Although, maybe that was just the mid-level boss. I'm not sure. This is some seriously addictive gameplay as well. I, you know, I, this is the sort of thing that I would fire up now. And uh, have an hour or so on. Quite easily. In fact, I've been waffling on for 26 minutes. And uh, I'm loving it. One second, guys. I'm going to pause it. And we're back, guys. Oh, yeah, we were just coming into land. And I have totally and utterly lost my train of thought, which is fantastic. <laughs> it happens. Oofed. So, bonus. So, where did we get to? Oh, yeah. Looks like we're going into some funky-ass jungle town. In the trees. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I pushed the wrong damn button. Bollocks. Ah, well. Easy come, easy go, I guess. Look at this nonsense. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's that's disgusting amounts of power. Wanton destruction right there. Oh, that is amazing. Yep. Definitely the best weapon in the game. Like, seriously. This thing is ridiculous. I'm kind of almost getting the feeling that I'm actually invincible with this thing now. Oh, we're in the desert. Oh, man. Can't start singing Welcome to the Jungle. <gasps> but I can sing Nomad. But I will uh, spare you guys my awful renditions. Oh no! You sons of fucking bitches. Oh, I don't like how hard it is to avoid those power-ups. Oh no, and now I'm roasted. Roasted alive. Yeah, really wish those power-ups would disappear fairly sure that's what got me fucked up. Near mind. We shall persevere. Ooh. Ooh. Give me the P. Give me the P. Give me the P. Well, at least we got all of our bombs back, I guess. I mean, that's something like... Oh, God. Jesus. Oof. This game makes you sweat bullets, alright? Oh, no. I didn't even see what we got killed by then. <gasps> no. Do we have any... Do we have... Oh, we do. We still have, like, loads of continues. Okay. Well, we're going to keep going. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe we can complete this game on easy. And that would be something. Probably be the longest... Oh, no, you fucking asshole. Probably be the longest tries video we've had. Yeah, I may have to cut this short, though. Because uh, Mrs. has come home and she's got a migraine. So, doesn't want me swearing into a microphone for the next seven hours. But we will see. Oh, oh, I don't know. To be honest, we might not last too much longer. We're getting absolutely roasted by these things. Still not sure on the value of these lightning bolts. Not sure. Might have to nuke them, Rico. Nuke them. Okay, that works. Okay. We've nearly got full level power. Oh my god, that is that those things are savage. Although it looks like that's the last of them. The little armored cubes of death. 
I like the way those uh, tanks can lose their turrets and then continue driving. That's uh, quite a cool little touch. Nuke em. Ooh, Okay. Yeah, so the red pals instantly max out your damage, which is nice. The green pals put it up by one. Although, having your power increased by one doesn't appear to do much. And this scatter shot is not that bad, actually. It certainly is more powerful than I was giving it credit for. I like it when the noob weapon that you first start off with in games is actually a viable weapon. Ah, I see. The power upgrades as well are only temporary. Also good to know, I suppose. Yeah, the lightning bolts definitely don't give you any extra power. Which is sad face. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Yeah, these are the sort of games that just require epic concentration. Less commentary, more thinking. Or as I used to say, less thinking, more drinking. On a night out. <laughs> Boy, that ended me up in some sticky situations. Okay. These little uh, squares of death don't appear to be as dangerous. Ooh. What have we got now? Some kind of big ass bomber. Yep. Ooh. Okay. I'm guessing what the difficulty will do is probably just speed up the bullets. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. It might add more. Because this game is running very nice and smooth. So I can easily imagine some more bullets on screen. Oh, that was close. Oh. Nukem Rico. Alright, well, you're fragged. You know, the end bosses don't appear to be that dangerous, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, they really don't. Ah, okay. So now I'm actually looking. Yeah, the lightning bolts are some kind of point value bonus thing. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So, where are we going? We're going to Metro City now. Oh, damn. This is Hardcore Highway, alright. Leas! I don't know what Leas is. Is that... Are they the guys that made this game? I... Oh. Okay, I died for reasons that I don't understand. That does seem to be the name of this game. You'll be fine, and then instant death. Now, also, the standard level 1 unupgraded weapons do seem fairly sufficient. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these weapons. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. That was pathetic. Oh, no. 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 But I want more. Now, we still have, like, six lives minimum. So that's fine. So we're on stage seven. That's fairly generous. I'm guessing there's ten stages. Oh, no. That's bullshit. Bullshit. There we are. Right, ready to roll. Yeah, these are just literally chaff. Useless chaff. Wheat before the scythe. Unless you, you know, like, kamikaze into them. Which is, let's be fair, not, not, um, not recommended, should we say. Definitely not recommended. I'm liking these buildings. There's a nice amount of colour in this game as well. <gasps> the Atomic Cafe. Ooh. I wonder what's in the Atomic Cafe. wonder if you can get yourself a fresh Nuka-Cola. Oh, you bastard. You absolute bastard. Yeah, the enemy patterns are definitely getting a little bit more complex. The Atomic Cafe. I guess we just wanted to have a, a nice Atomic Roast Latte. Oof. I wonder if it makes you glow green. <gasps> Might turn you into a ghoul. Are we fighting ghouls? We may be. These games usually have some kind of generic fluff story. Uh, which, there didn't appear to be any kind of intro or anything, so... Ooh, man. Like, is there any actual civilians in this city? Or is it all just, like, people driving tanks? Like, what is this? 
Is this like Warlord City? It's quite interesting. I do like these kind of uh, alternate dystopian realities where everybody drives a tank. Maybe everyone drives a tank in the future. Oh, how did that, how could I even have seen that coming? How could I even have seen those coming? Game, you fucked me. You fucked me, game. We're going to have to stay, like, center of the screen. Which is not great. Because we have a lot less time to react to incoming bullshit. But that's okay. That's called a difficulty curve, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like you, buddy. Get the frick out of my airspace. Even the nukes don't really do a lot of damage to those things. Ha. Huh. Oof. Oof. Got another atomic calf. Oh, God. Maybe that's what this is. This is some kind of uh, corporation wars from the future. Kind of syndicate. Very syndicate -y. I love that game, Syndicate. I had that on the Mega Drive, actually. Which kind of blew my fragile little mind back when I was a young titan. My god, that just seems so long ago now, doesn't it? Ooh! You side-swiping motherfucker! It's literally come out of nowhere. And by nowhere, I mean he comes out of my ass, which kind of conjures images that I'd rather not describe in any great detail, to be honest. Unless the Atomic Cafe is where these nukes are mass-produced, which makes sense. Oof. Okay. Ooh, nice. Nice amount of lightning bolts. What the hell is that? That's like some private charter plane. Oof. Glad that thing's down. He was certainly out to rustle some feathers. Feathers were certainly rustled. Come on. Ooh. Oh no, really? We survived that guy only to get fragged by that little basic turd. Unbelievable. I mean, it has to be said, the difficulty is not that bad. You definitely could, depending on how long this game is, easily complete it i reckon with a little bit of practice but having said that we are playing it on easy we, we must remember this fact oh got another life i don't know what point threshold we just crossed to get another life usually it's in multiples of 10 but that does not appear to be the case right here Ooh. and it is definitely getting warm in here Ooh, there's like a dolphin or something swimming in the uh, nuclear atomic water. At least I'm guessing this is atomic water. Everything's atomic in these games, isn't it? Or space. Spending your space dollars in the space cafe. Fighting space pirates. Ooh, we did it. Another mission down. I can have some of my atomic coffee. I do like the way that guy literally just ran headlong into a incoming plane. That doesn't appear to be wise to me, but hey, I'm not part of this atomic army, so, you know. Ooh, what the frick? Someone just chucked that thing into the sea? I thought it was some kind of atomic whale. Or, oh no. Yeah, it's, it's getting very difficult now to predict the patterns of these guys. What is that? It's swimming in the sea. Look like uh, dolphins or something. Look like our guys just threw it into the water. I thought it might be a body, but I guess not, because it just swam on into the ether. Oh man, there's so much bullshit on screen. Look at all these bombs. Is that Max Bombs? Oh, no. Are we at Max Bomb? Do we have too much bomb? Maybe. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> There's so much for, for your eyes to track. It's crazy. 
So it looks like every time we destroy one of those submarines, we get a atomic bomb. Yes, I guess so. Yeah, I guess we did. Oh, that was bollocks. That was absolute bollocks. Literally spawned on top of us. What's an atomic pilot to do? I guess get atomized. I guess. Ooh. Yeah, I can't decide whether using those bombs actually... Um, oh, great. <laughs> um, actually disables the enemy bullets. I'm not sure. Or whether, oh, that's the end. Oh, man. I oh, know, this was made by Toa Plan, I guess. In 1990. So this is an old game. Would you believe this game's 30 years old? 1990. The 90s were 30 years ago. What is this reality we live right now? Holy shit. Well, anyway, this was... Uh, Firehawk. Was it Firehawk? I can't actually remember what this game was called now. Fire Shark, that was it. Um, I really bloody enjoyed this. I think if I had this back in the day, I would have been very, very happy. And it's still... It's still a lot of fun to play now. Um, what was that game it's reminding me a little bit of as well? Steel or the Age of Steel, which was a very steampunky, side scrolly shooty game as well. Actually, I might have to cover that. Very hard game. Um, yeah, I think we might have to have a look at that one at some point. Similar vein to this. And bloody hard. But I think you actually uh, controlled an airship in that. Another Mega Drive game that I had back in the day. Hmm. So I think this game still holds up rather wonderfully. It plays great. It sounds great. It still looks great. Yes. I would have been very happy with this uh, as a kid. So thanks, H, for your recommendation. It was good. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.